Welcome to the Real Estate Library. My name is Lynette Braun and I'm a global luxury realtor with Coldwell Banker in Rancho Santa Fe. And today I want to talk to you guys about what a debt to income ratio is. It's actually a pretty simple formula that compares how much income you have to how much outgoing monthly debt payments you have. And whenever you're buying a home, a lender or a mortgage company is going to look at several different factors to help you qualify for that loan. They're gonna look at your tax returns, they'll look at your bank statements, your job history, your credit report, and another very important number is your debt to income ratio or your DTI. And the way we find your DTI is to basically add up all of your monthly outgoing debt obligations. Um, so that's going to be your mortgage payment, any HOA dues, uh, credit card payments, student loan payments, car loans, and we add up all of those monthly obligations and then you divide it by your monthly gross income. And that gives you a percentage or a ratio of how much debt you have to how much income you have coming in. Now in general, you don't want your debt to income ratio to be more than about 30%, which means you're spending almost a third of your gross income every month on your outgoing monthly um, debt obligations, debt service. Uh, there are some lenders that will give you a loan with up to 50% debt to income ratio, um, but you have to be very well qualified and those are few, fewer and far between. In general, you don't wanna spend more than a third of your gross monthly income on those payments, including your mortgage, car loan, student loan. Uh, and that's what's gonna help you really qual qualify for your mortgage other than just your credit score. So that's something that you can think about strategically well ahead of time if you do have some credit card debt or you're almost finished paying off your car loan or your student loans and you wanna buy a house in the next six months to a year, the lower that you have of those monthly outgoing payments, and the higher your gross income is that you can put towards a mortgage, the more you're gonna be qualified in the lender's eyes, the less you're gonna pay for points, and most likely the less you're gonna pay in interest because you are now a more uh, well-qualified buyer. So if you guys have any questions about what a debt-to-income ratio is or how to st strategically structure a debt payment plan in order to buy a house, please feel free to send me a message and I'm happy to help. I'll see you guys on the next video.